whispering because my roommate Allie is asleep, but it's currently around 6 a.m. and I just made myself a lovely cup of coffee. This is normally how I make it. I just put in iced coffee, collagen, a little bit of creamer and cinnamon. And then I shook it all up in this lovely little jar. Today I wanted to do a little what I eat in a day. I actually just launched something so exciting. My own cookbook, Holy and Whole, is officially out. And this has been long awaited. I have been working on this cookbook all summer and I'm so excited to share just easy, healthy, and good recipes for you to get started on your healthy eating journey. I know so many of you guys have asked me like, how do I get started eating healthy? What do I do? All I wanna do is eat junk food. Like is healthy food even, does it even taste good? And here's the thing, I had those struggles as well. I had those thoughts as well. That's why I created this cookbook to show you that you don't need to have recipes be crazy complex for them to be good and nourishing for your body. And you also don't need recipes to taste bad if they're also healthy. Like there can still be good, yummy tasting recipes that are good for you. Go to the link in my description to get a copy of the cookbook. It's called Holy and Whole. How cute is that? But today I'm just gonna take you guys through a full day of eating, show you guys some recipes I've been loving recently and hopefully give you some inspo. Um, typically in the mornings I will get my coffee and also pour myself a glass of water and I'm just gonna read my Bible. So I'm gonna go do that right now. Spend time with Jesus. He is the most important person in my life. My faith is the most important thing in my life. Let's go do that. Today, I'm just gonna read a psalm. All right, y'all, now it is time to do a little pre-workout breakfast. Before I work out in the morning, I have to make myself some kind of snack or meal because I can't just work out on an empty stomach. So we're going to make a chocolatey smoothie that is super easy to make. It's actually going to take me like no time at all. So first and foremost, I'm going to take like half a frozen banana. The key is that it's frozen. It's really important. Okay, now I'm going to do one scoop of this peanut butter protein from PE Science. It's truly amazing stuff. Um, and I'm linking all of these supplements in my shop my in the description below. One scoop. I'm also linking this blender in the description as well. Now we're gonna do one scoop of my chocolate greens. This is also my daily probiotic. It serves as my vitamin and I also love it because it makes my breakfast and my smoothies taste like chocolate. Like it literally is a greens powder that tastes like chocolate. What is not to love? Next, we're gonna do one scoop of collagen. One scoop of collagen. We're gonna work on our hair, skin, and nails. And then this is when we get into the fun part. I'm gonna do one scoop of cacao powder. I'm gonna do one tablespoon of this. And I love the cacao powder with the banana. It's just such a good combo. Next, I'm gonna do a tablespoon of almond butter. This goes really well with just the whole concoction. <laughs> I need to get more almond butter, y'all. Also, how fun is this little like thing? I love it. Cinnamon. Now, because I only put half a banana, I want to add some ice just so it's still like a cold consistency. And then lastly, I'm gonna add around like eight ounces of um, almond milk. 
Let's add that in. I think I might just add a little bit more water. All right, now it is time for me to screw this on and blend this all up. And there you have it. We now have this creamy and delicious chocolatey smoothie to get us fueled for our pre-workout. I'm gonna try it. It's so good. It's so good. It tastes like a milkshake. All right, y'all, I am back from my workout and that means it is time to make a breakfast. This breakfast is one of my favorites. I've been making it so much recently because it tastes like a chocolate brownie, but it's actually good for you. Allie loves it too, my roommate, so it's not just me that loves this recipe. Actually takes like three minutes to make, so it's also super easy. It's really great for you if you have just a busy schedule. I know some of y'all are in school. I know some of y'all are moms and you're just like, I don't have time to be in the kitchen, you know, making food all the time. And I want something healthy that's also quick, that's also gonna taste good. So let's make this together. First and foremost, we're gonna take some low carb pancake mix. I just have two tablespoons of this. I like using the Carbonaut brand, but there's also Birch Benders. That's really great. I would recommend getting the paleo version. Next, we're gonna take a half cup of egg whites. So let's do that. Put that in there. This also comes out to around 40 grams of protein, which is so good for you in the morning to get your protein in so you're satiated throughout the day. Next, we are going to put in some supplements. And again, all of these are gonna be linked on my shop my in the description below. I'm going to take this peanut butter protein powder. I use it this morning and I'm gonna use it again because I love it. It's from PE Science. And I'm gonna put one scoop of that in there. And then I'm gonna do another scoop of collagen because I love collagen and it's just really easy to put in your breakfast in the morning. Next, we're gonna use our fruits and greens powder. This is also gonna serve as our probiotic, our daily vitamin. Um, each recipe that I make today is going to include a protein, a carb, a healthy fat, and then also a fiber. Fiber means fruits and veggies. In this case, I'm not gonna put a whole handful of spinach in this bowl. Instead, I'm gonna use a greens powder. So I'm still getting some greens in this but I'm not gonna be eating spinach, which we love. So I'm gonna put a pretty big scoop of that in here. Again, this is like my staple. My trainer got me on these. We're gonna also do one fourth cup of water to also just help it mix. We just have a lot of powders in here, so we wanna mix it all up. So it kind of creates this like nice consistency this like batter consistency. Oh my goodness, this is so fun. I might actually put a little bit more water in here just because I really want it to be like moist. I don't want it to be crazy dry before I put it in the microwave. Oh, haha. okay, we're spilling, we're spilling. Is this not an Ashley recipe if she doesn't spill something? Next, we're gonna take one tablespoon of dark chocolate chips. This brand is Lily's sugar-free dark chocolate chips. So it's super good for you. I'm just gonna put like a half of a tablespoon in there to just mix in because the rest I'm gonna put on top. And then this is an important part. This is an important part, fam. I'm gonna clean up my mess. Okay, this is super important so that everything doesn't stick to the bottom of the bowl. You're going to get another bowl and you're going to spray this next bowl with like some kind of nonstick spray. So I'm just using avocado oil spray. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna pour this consistency, this pancake batter consistency, into the other bowl with the spray. Now, this is just a step where like, you're just gonna be 
grateful because this consistency, this like pancake batter is not gonna stick to the bottom of your bowl when you put it in the microwave. I'm just gonna put that in there. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Next, what we're gonna do is we are going to sprinkle the rest of these chocolate chips on top. I'm just gonna kind of put them on top so that they just melt. This looks fire, I'm sorry, but this just looks really good. We are now ready to put this in the microwave for one minute. Let's start out with one minute and see how it looks. Okay, so I just took this out and I noticed that it's still a little moist. So I'm gonna put it in for like 30 more seconds. Okay, now onto the fun part. We are going to add this cup of berries and we're just going to put it on top of the brownie. I like to kind of put in the strawberries first. I feel like the more pretty that you make your meals, the more fun it is. <laughs> It's an art. I put on around like a half cup. The rest, I'm gonna do some raspberries. So I'm just doing strawberries and raspberries. Okay, next I'm gonna just take some maple syrup and I'm gonna do just like a half tablespoon to top it all off. Okay, she should be ready. I'm like really excited to eat this. <laughs> I'm so excited to eat this. This is just, like probably one of my favorite breakfasts in the morning. All right, it is time to eat this. I also have my water here because I want to hydrate after my workout. Let's pray. Father, I just thank you for this meal. I thank you that you created food to taste good. You created food for us to nourish ourselves. You created food for us to enjoy, God. And I just thank you that this meal we get to enjoy. And so, Lord, thank you for just this meal. Thank you for this day. Thank you for just getting to share these recipes with this amazing audience that you have given us, this amazing community, Lord. We bless this community in Jesus' name that we would all learn to nourish our bodies in the way that you created us to. In Jesus' name, amen. Let's try it. <gasps> okay, you got to get like a big scoop with the berries. Mm. You guys aren't ready. You're not ready for this. This is so good. How is this like 40 grams of protein? 10 out of 10, you guys actually have to make this. Tag me on Instagram if you do, please tag me. I need to see if you made this. All right, y'all, we are back for lunch. I am about to have a beach day with Allie, but before I do that, I wanna make sure I fuel my body and just have a very balanced, healthy, yummy lunch. Now, this lunch is really quick, really easy to make. I'm going to be including a good protein, a good fiber, a good carb, and also healthy fats. So let's do this together. For today's lunch, I'm going to be making some toast with also eggs and spinach. We're going to make some turkey bacon as well. On the toast, I'm gonna to be putting cottage cheese and strawberry preserves, which is like the best combination I have been having it every single day recently and I'm still not sick of it. So let's make this lunch together. First, I'm gonna just pop in three of these turkey bacons in the air fryer. I'm going to now preheat my air fryer on 390 degrees Fahrenheit and then put these turkey bacon in for four minutes. And then after four minutes passes, I'm gonna flip them over and cook them for another four minutes. To 390, spray, spray this. Then we're going to put the turkey bacon in. Put together. Turkey bacon's in. As the turkey bacon is cooking, I'm going to just uh, cook two eggs and two egg whites on a pan behind me. 
And I'm also gonna mix in some spinach in there because I wanna get some fiber. So this is a well-balanced meal. Let's turn this on. Spray and let that get hot. Right now let's just do one egg at a time. So we'll do one egg, do another egg. Now we're just gonna do egg whites. So two egg whites. I'm just gonna go like this. That's some good egg white. Mix these eggs up a little bit, and we'll just put in some spinach. Super simple way to get some greens into your eggs and into your meal, and you like barely taste them. So see how the spinach is just getting sauteed. Take some seasoning, everything but the bagel seasoning from Trader Joe's. Put this on the eggs. It's just gonna make it taste a lot better. I'm gonna do some salt. Also gonna do some pepper. Mix that around. All right, now that we have made our eggs and we've also made some turkey bacon, I'm just gonna pop some sourdough toast in a toaster. I just got this sourdough toast from Whole Foods. If you have a Whole Foods near you, they have really great sourdough toast. I'm just gonna put this in my toaster. All right, now that we have our sourdough toasted, we're going to take this Good Culture cottage cheese and I'm gonna put three tablespoons of this cottage cheese on this toast. Now this is really good because it's gonna give us some protein, some extra protein in our lunch. I also love this cottage cheese. Like if you're dairy sensitive, it's just, a great cottage cheese that I would really recommend. And we're just gonna spread this on. This is the fun part, y'all. We're gonna take a tablespoon of strawberry jam. Now this is like an all natural strawberry jam. It's literally made from just strawberries. We're going to take one tablespoon of this and we're just gonna put that on top of your cottage cheese. This is such a good combination. Like it is actually heavenly. So I'm just gonna spread that over. We have our cottage cheese toast. All right, now that my toast is done, I'm just gonna throw everything together to make our whole meals. We're gonna add our eggs to our little egg concoction. We'll put that on our plates. We're also gonna put our turkey bacon kind of just on the side. There's a trick that I have in making your eggs taste better. We're gonna put sriracha on these eggs. I love sriracha so much. And um, I just find that it makes your eggs just taste like even better. Oh my goodness, y'all. This is an amazing, easy, very quick lunch that you can make on your day to day. It's the way that this was actually so quick to make. Like you don't actually need to take five ever in cooking to make meals that taste good and are also good for you. Lord, thank you for this lunch. We bless this food to the nourishment of our bodies and we just pray that this food would nourish our bodies and give us energy for this day. In Jesus name, amen. All right, let's try the eggs first with the, with the sriracha. Very good, very good. Okay, turkey bacon time. Perfect, time for the best part, which is the toast. Guys, you have to try this combination. It's, it's so good. Wow, I think I'm gonna eat this every day. I got iced Americana. This isn't what I eat in a day, so it does include what I have to, to have for coffee. Allie, what you got? Can you hear me? Uh, Ashley's get, always dropping. Is it boo-boo? Ashley, you gotta be careful. Your battery's Guys, also I almost dead. Guys, I literally dropped 
my camera this morning and you guys didn't see it because it was not well, recording. Well, it actually set the what'd alarm off in our house, what, So what'd you get, Allie? I got an ice caramel. <laughs> no, I didn't. I got an ice vanilla latte with oat milk. Who was that? <laughs> <laughs> just talking out of my mouth. That was not Allie. It was, I was like a demon looking. No, I got it. <laughs> Caramel came out of nowhere. Bro, caramel came out of nowhere. What is that? Hello, gorgeous humans. We are back from the beach and it is time to now cook some dinner. So tonight we're gonna make some high protein pasta. I'm also going to make some broccoli as well because I wanna get my greens in today. This is actually a very easy dinner that you can make. Again, it's protein packed and it tastes amazing. So without further ado, let's start our dinner. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put this broccoli on the baking sheet and I'm gonna spray this with avocado oil spray. I use this all the time. And then we're just gonna do salt and pepper. Be a little bit more spray. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna like put it together with my hands. And then I like to just make sure that the broccoli is like facing down, just cause I think that it tastes better and the broccoli comes out to be crispier. And now I'm just gonna put this in the oven. And I'm gonna put this in for 15 minutes. No, so it's the way that this is low key a crime because I started making dinner without drinking my favorite drink ever while I make dinner. I always have a Topo Chico in a wine glass with lime. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. Crack open this Topo Chico. I can't believe I forgot. Who is she? This is just not like her. This is not like me. Put it in a wine glass because, y'all, I like literally don't drink, but I don't know why, just having a Topo Chico with ice in a wine glass just feels very elevated. And this is part of making cooking like enjoyable and something that you look forward to is doing stuff like this where, you know, I know that when I have my Topo Chico in my wine glass, like it's time to make an amazing dinner. Like it's time to grub. And I squeeze this lime and it's just magnificent. It's so good. Cheers. That's so refreshing. Okay, now it is time to prep for our pasta. So I'm going to cut up some garlic and also some onion. I don't know why, when I was first getting started with cooking, like no one taught me how to cut an onion. So I'm gonna show you guys how I cut my onion. Um, first, I just cut off the ends, and then I just kind of like peel off the outer layer. Peel off that outer layer, and then what I do, let's just actually throw away this outer layer. <laughs> cut it down the middle, and then I like dice it. Like I slice the top like this and you will get so much better at this with time. Just know that. Then what I do is I turn it like this and I cut, I slice like right underneath what I just cut into. So like right underneath that. And then once I'm done with that, I go above. So I cut up top and it just is diced like so. Watch your fingers, okay? If it's not all diced, it's totally fine because then what you're gonna do is you're gonna just put it all together and you're gonna go cut it down like this. So put your hand above and cut it down, like kind of chop it down. All right, we got our white onion. Now I'm just gonna put this in like a cute little bowl. I got these bowls from William and Sonoma and I love them. I'm just gonna put them in this bowl. I don't think I'm gonna use all of the white onion for this recipe, so I'll probably save the rest and put it in a Tupperware. I'm just gonna put this to the side and we're gonna cut up our garlic. All right, so I just cut up my garlic. So I have my white onion, my garlic. 
I also got out my protein, which is gonna be the ground turkey. And then also I got some tomato sauce out. And then I have a secret ingredient that I'm gonna put in the tomato sauce that I'm gonna show you guys. We're gonna take a little sip of our topo. And we're gonna continue. Also, I took the broccoli out of the oven um, because I hit 15 minutes. So just make sure that you're, you have your eye on your broccoli. But what we're gonna do now is we're going to put this white onion and the garlic, we're gonna saute that on a pan and then we're gonna cook our meat. So let's spray. And we're going to put on the white onion first and saute that because that isn't going to get burnt as quickly as the garlic. Saute that for three minutes or so. Once it's like translucent, we're gonna add the garlic. I'm just gonna add a little bit of white onion. I'm gonna save the rest. I don't wanna use like a ton. Saute this. It just smells so comforting. So let's add some garlic into this. Saute that as well. Now it smells really good, y'all. Take like a half cup of ground turkey and I'm gonna put it in this pan. And we're just gonna cook the chicken all the way through. We're gonna cook the turkey all the way through. I said chicken, I think. This ain't chicken. Now for the fun part, we are going to make the pasta sauce and I'm going to use this fresh tomato and basil pasta sauce from Michaels of Brooklyn. And then I'm also going to use this Good Culture cottage cheese, my favorite cottage cheese. We had this in our lunch and we're gonna have it for dinner as well because why not? Let's do a half cup of the pasta sauce first. So we'll put it in our little beast blender. Next, we're going to do half cup of cottage cheese, y'all. This is so good. I'm so excited to have this. And it's such good protein, y'all. We're gonna blend this to make a little sauce out of it. And once we have our little sauce, we are gonna throw this in the pan with the ground turkey. All right, and this is also when I'm going to add some pasta. You can use whatever pasta you would like. I'm actually using this like fun little Japanese noodle. They're called konjac noodles, but you can use any pasta that you would like. You're just going to add it to the pan that has the uh, ground turkey pasta mixture. And this is really nice because the noodles just are ready and like, like it takes no time to get rid of them ready. You just rinse them off and then they're already ready. Since my broccoli is low key cold right now, I didn't want to burn it, but I kept my oven on and I'm just gonna throw this in the oven for like three more minutes so it's actually warm for me to eat. Now that I took the broccoli out, I'm going to just sprinkle some lemon on top. This is so key for making your broccoli go to like, from like a level seven to a level 10, okay? And I'm just gonna put this on a plate. Yum. And now let's get our pasta in a little bowl. Oh, the pasta is perfect, y'all. Look at that. She's stunning, she's gorgeous. It's like a healthy bolognese. All right, we have our meal and we are ready to enjoy it. Kind of like we were eating dinner together. We're gonna pray. Father, thank you so much for this amazing day of food. Thank you for this meal. I just pray that this meal would nourish our bodies and just make our tummies happy. Thank you for making good, yummy food also be good for us. In Jesus' name, amen. Without further ado, let's taste test this. Let's see if it's actually good. Yep, so good. I love the sauce. The 
The sauce is so good. Broccoli, let's try it. It's the lemon for me, fam. Y'all need to try it with the lemon. I love food. All right, it is time to make a dessert. So without further ado, we are gonna make a really fun, really yummy bowl. It's really healthy, but it's also, it tastes like cookie dough. So we're gonna make cookie dough together. So first what we're gonna do is take a fourth cup of Siggy's yogurt. This is like so easy to make too. Like this. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some protein powder and I'm just gonna put like a fourth of a scoop in here because we've had some great protein today so we don't really need a ton more but I'm just gonna put a little bit of protein powder in there. It's gonna make it taste like peanut butter. I'm gonna then add a half teaspoon of vanilla extract. We're gonna do a half tablespoon of peanut butter. Whoa, so good. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a little bit of water to this and we're gonna stir it. We added the water and now we're just mixing it cookie dough consistency. We're going to add some chocolate to the mix. So like dark chocolate shavings slash dark chocolate chips. Lastly, we are gonna put some honey on top. Just like that. And there we go. A really yummy, healthy treat for nighttime. We are back right where we started this morning. I'm gonna try my little dessert for the night. This is gas. This is gas, y'all. And the chocolate chips are everything. I love you guys. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you guys enjoyed these recipes, make sure to grab a copy of my new cookbook, Holy and Whole in the description below and subscribe so you don't miss another episode of the Holy Girl Diaries. I love you guys so much and Jesus loves you more. Mwah!